Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Matt, DeluxeDeluxeFab.com. Today we're shaving tires. I'm gonna show you how to turn a tire from this to this in about five minutes. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is this is a Super Swamper G8, standard right out of the bag. You see? This one I shaved down a few minutes ago. I'm gonna this is a touring car wheel. You want some kind of rim in that wheel, in that tire just to just to kind of shore it up. So we're gonna jam this in here. You don't have to worry about gluing it or nothing. Pretty basic shit. If y'all didn't know back in the day, touring car wheels. More or less a 1.9. They just have this weak hex in the middle that's going to let go whenever you try to reef on it as a crawler. Boom. There we go. Got it in there. Got it supported. Get it kind of centered. And I'm using a flap wheel. This is an 80 grit flap wheel. Pretty basic. You want one that's kind of wore in. You don't want to use a brand new one. You want to kind of rough the edges up a little bit first. Okay. Now, you want to do it in several passes. Don't try to do it all at once. You're not trying to race all this all at once, but you want to take it just a little bit at a time and turn it around. So that's one pass. And you want a real light touch. You're not trying to bear down on it. You know, you're not trying to do it with two hands. You want one hand, you just want this just laying against the tire. Not a lot. Here's one side, three or four passes all it took. I more or less you just want to take these side lugs off because you know as you all know they'll get hooked up on walls when you're trying to climb like right beside it or hooked up on walls, hooked up on steering components, links and whatnot. This will also make the tire more compliant. Let's do the other side.
One more or less. There you go, guys. See, let me rub this schmoo off here. Obviously, we're doing this outside. You don't want to do this in the house. It makes a terrible mess. That's why we're out here on my back porch rail. But yeah. Now, if you want to get real fancy, you want to put it up just a smidge. You can use an orbital or a uh, jitterbug, however you want to call it, a DA. This is a Walmart version. It's one of these little palm sanders. It's got 220. Oh, just for a record, I already showed y'all, but that, that's an 80 grit flap wheel on a four inch cheapo angle grinder. You want to put it up a little more. That's it. You can spend hours with a Dremel, or you can spend five minutes with the flap wheel and put it up with the, with the DA sander. All right, guys. Thanks. See ya.